Today we're looking at some names that you should consider for your portfolio heading into the back half of 2022 and one name to stay away from. Joining me is Gina Sanchez, Chantico Global CEO and a CNBC contributor. Gina, welcome. Still thinking about your Walgreens bail the other day. Looking pretty good after the week that they've had. So let's dive in. Your first buy today is Deer. The stock has had a rough first half, down 14 percent. They had solid profit this quarter. They had supply chain challenges, though. They raised the dividend. Why Deer at a time when all these ag prices seem to be uh, pausing, shall we say? Well, we don't think that the that the food supply issues are going away, and we think that the pressure is continues to put pressure on farmers. This is a, also a company that has continued. I mean, the earnings have been stellar, um, so they have definitely proved themselves out, and the valuation for those earnings is actually quite good. And we think going into the second half of the year, investors are going to be looking for. Uh, Investors are going to be looking for uh, uh, we think investors are going to be looking uh, for valuation as well as demand. And we think that demand is going to go up because farmers have to get uh, have to get into the ag tech play and deer is that play. That was extremely impressive continuation of a stream of thought while also silencing the phone. <laughs> so that's your, your bull case on deer. Let's move on to lithium, which you know, this, again, is kind of counterintuitive. Lit is the ETF. It had a rough first half, down 15 percent. Only five of the stocks in the ETF are higher, and most of them are the Chinese names. Why does this one jump out to you? So this one jumped out to us because we actually think this is actually tied to the same pressure that we see that's pushing up deer. Um, some of it's coming, quite frankly, from the war in Ukraine, right? And so we think as we start to look at the potential for a frozen war, which is just a terrible situation, um, we think that, you know, the call that lithium, that lithium prices are coming down, we think that that's probably not the right call. We think that there's still going to be um, pressing, you know, pressing demand for, for um, supply. We think that exposure to lithium and lithium batteries is still going to be an interesting play. And so we actually added the ETF to our um, to our portfolio. All right. And your third buy, a little less controversial. You do like Microsoft. Yes. We love Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> OK, full stop. And, and look, Microsoft. <laughs> Full stop. But but there's reasons, right? Microsoft has obviously a very enduring play. We think that cloud play doesn't go away. But we know that these are challenging times. This is a stock that had a pretty high valuation. But even despite that valuation, it has a solid balance sheet. And that balance sheet is going to look really good as we continue to see rights, uh, rates rising. Um, we also see it, it continues to pay a dividend and it continues to grow its dividend. Um, that's also attractive um, going into the back half. And we just think that this, this stock is just flipped now into to a value stock. We think that there is huge growth that just is no longer um, priced right, um, and we're going to keep holding it. All right, so let's move on from your three buys to your bail today. It's a name we don't talk about a lot. It's Discover Financial. It's down 17% this year on par with some of its competitors like MasterCard, Visa, and Amex. They also pay a 2.5% dividend. They do. They do. And this has actually been a great stock for us. We've owned this MasterCard and Visa. Um, but quite frankly, just this we, we've been on the back half of, a, of the recovery um, going into this, you know, crazy first half of the year um, and the likelihood that as we as the economy softens and as we go into what might be a mild recession, these are the, the stocks that are probably going to have a hard time. Um, so although we've we've enjoyed the run, we're stepping away from this uh, this story. All right. I, I'm trying to leave it undiscovered or something like that for, for the next one to discover. Gina, thanks so much for your time today. Good to have you.